Well, today is March 19th, 2014, 12.07 p.m. What I am doing is uh, not removing the fuel tank in order to change the lower needle bearing that goes inside the steering column. As you can see, this is the edge of it, and it's kind of dry rotted away from time. Been getting a lot of play in the bottom of the steering wheel and you know in and out and left and right and up and down so I got uh got it all kinda into pieces. So it's kinda difficult to get out. Hopefully I'm gonna put it all back in. This uh little rubber grommet uh thing or whatever. Looks like it's in pretty good shape I think. So I'll reuse it. This rubber one here Got uh, all sorts of old paint on it. Yeah, I think it's about all right, I suppose. Major task was uh, keeping the fuel tank in the car and removing this from it. This was very difficult. I gotta get this off. It's pr apparently press fit, and I don't have a unpresser or anything. So this end goes toward. The steering wheel, this is your inner lock mechanism for, uh, you know, whenever you turn the steering wheel and it locks into position to prevent anybody from, like, taking it, I suppose. Yeah, this, that's that part of that right there, which it fits in there pretty good, you know, tight fit, or semi-tight. This is the end that it goes on. A little bit of play, not much, but I'm thinking most of the play came from around this. But I've got a fix that I've ordered. Top line bushing made out of a type of hard plastic or something that's going to go right on that or in that, take that off. And it's supposed to replace um, that. It says it lasts for thousands of miles. Well, I'm hoping it lasts longer than that. Because that is very tough getting that thing out of there. I have to have the camera plugged in to power since it's not a charged one right now. I got a wag of stenching cord running with me. Stenching. Had to remove my lock cylinder. Steering wheel, I don't know why some people take those off. All you have to do is just take the little nut out, you know, with the socket or something. Kind of scarred up my uh, dash thing. But I wasn't about to take the dash back out of this thing just to replace that. There's the tunnel down in there. I'm hoping that I can put everything back together. Get it in. It's gonna be a job. Well, I better get started. First thing that you need to do that I found whenever you take this out of here, this is where it came from, it had little bits of uh, the, ed the outer part of this, which is completely falling apart of me holding it and handling it within just a minute of having it out. But that came out of there, so you gotta. Wipe all of that down and sand it out and smooth it down in order for this to fit in there. So I'll do finish sanding in there and then I'm gonna get a hammer after this and a, uh, I want to say a chisel. Why do I want to say a chisel? I can't think off the top of my head today. Anyway get that off of there and see what happens. When I got the race off, uh, it was on there pretty good. I didn't have a press or anything, so I just uh, got a uh, um, tapper and tapped it out there with my hammer. I had to brace it with my legs because I have no bench vice. But, uh, there it is off. Been uh, 
sanding that down a little bit. I don't have a uh, belt sander, so I'm having to do that by hand. It's very difficult. This has to be polished smooth. And there's the uh, top line bushing that I've installed in there. Oh. Yep. We'll keep sanding on that and get back with you. Well, day two. It took a long time to get everything back together. I hope I wired it all up right, but when I wouldn't, I won't know until I crank her up. <laughs> Install my original lock cylinder since I got this key made by Gabe. Hoping the horn works. Yep, cool. A little problem in that, but it's that it works. Pending. Okay. Well, let me turn that. And that up in there. It's my steering wheel. Doesn't move, which I guess is good. Doesn't have any in and out anymore, it doesn't feel like. So, uh, I'm gonna be taking it for a test drive pretty soon just to make sure. However, I do have the U-joint down there underneath the gas tank. Is a uh, is a little wobbly toward the steering box. It's got like a little wiggle, but uh, I got a new one of those ordered. I need to, need to have it back together just so I could go back and forth to work. So we'll see how it goes.